Now let's see what we can do about replacing this uh, door lock cylinder on this uh, mid-60s Ford. I'm working in a fairly tight environment, so the very first thing I did was I took this piece of foam and got it on the edge of the door. That way I don't have any chance of running that door into the uh, brickwork there. So kind of think about your surroundings when you're going to do this because you're going to be putting some pressure on this stuff. Now, I don't know, this is kind of difficult to see, but if we're looking in there, okay, we can see the, here is the lock cylinder. Here's my lock rod right here. On that lock rod, I've got a clip. And that clip holds the rod to the cylinder. And I'm going to use this flat screwdriver to try to pop that off of there. And this is probably fading in and out as far as where it's trying to... Uh... Okay, let's try this again. So I'm on that clip, and I'm just going to try to pop it back. And this one is definitely fighting me. Okay. So... Everything just went to heck, so to speak. So I'm gonna hang on for a second, pause. So I kind of reset things there. And I'm gonna try to come in from here and get it that way. There we go. All right, so there you can see that that clip popped off. Now I'm just gonna pull the rod out of there. Let it fall back down out of the way. Now I've got this clip right here. And that one, I'm actually gonna just use a pair of pliers to remove. I'm going to try to be careful not to cut myself. All right, so I got that big clip off. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull this lock cylinder out of there. All right, so there it is. There's the lock cylinder. I'm gonna pause for a minute. Okay, here's my old lock cylinder. And if you take a look there, you'll see that that is kind of fat and that is kind of skinny. The little ridge right there. Okay, this one's skinny. This one's fat. Match that up to your new lock cylinder because that kind of is going to indicate left to right. The other thing i got to do is now I've got to take this. This is the clip that was holding the rod. And this is not only the clip retainer, but the barrel that the rod goes through. i got to take that off. And you can see it's got this slot in it. I'm going to take this fine pair of needle nose and I'm going to push this up a little bit and I'm going to try to get those needle nose underneath there like that I'm asking to stab myself here that's for sure give me just a second Okay, so one side of that clip broke off, and I'm going to have to just, uh, for right now, use it and uh, order up another one. So we'll just go ahead and go through the rest of the process. 
I'll try and get that off of there. And then I'm going to transfer both the plastic and the clip to the new lock cylinder. And then I'm just going to reinstall everything in the reverse order. And this is something that I really should have been thinking about, but I didn't. We're dealing with 50 year old plastic and it's just brittle and it breaks very easily. And it took very little for that to break off. Now I'm going to show you the little plastic clip so you can see why it broke. Okay, so there it is. And that clip just has a little barb on it. <clears throat> and what I was going to try to do with the needle nose pliers that I actually did without a problem on the other side was to just get underneath the needle nose get the needle nose between the plastic and the body of the lock and then uh, use the needle nose to kind of pull it through and uh, again it broke so now I'm going to put this lock rod retainer and this clip through here and like I said I'll replace this plastic but I'm not going to be able to do it right at the moment. I just checked and I don't have one in any of my parts. And this little piece of plastic is just bound and determined to fight me. So hang on just a second. Okay well there it is. Broken clip. Like I said I'll order a new one. So it's just real quick kind of go through uh, reinstall on this thing. So there's the lock cylinder back in position. I'll take the big clip that holds it in position. I'm going to start that. I'm actually turning that, which I don't want to do. Boy, this thing beat me up. Alright. Let's try this again. Part of it is that I'm trying to do two-handed operations one-handed while I hold this camera. Hold on. So that clip's sort of back in place. And I'm going to find my lock rod in there. And a lot of times you're going to be doing this blind. You are not going to see what you're doing and that's kind of where I'm at right now and so you end up doing a lot of these operations by feel. But you're going to take that lock rod, put it through that plastic, something like that, maybe. Now again I'm going to pause. Lock rod through the plastic. Let's lever the clip over. And that's how it all goes together. Just like that. Woo! Who knew that was going to be such a pain in the butt? All right. Well, enjoy yourself if you get to do this kind of a job on something. They're a lot of fun.